Hi everybody. I have just a little break in my the rainy weather, so I'm gonna go get a couple quick loads of manure outside today. I also want to show you a short shoeing repair that I have that I did just a few minutes ago and uh, explain a couple things about that. But also I want to talk a little bit about my horse barn as those that have seen my videos realize that my horse barn is in pretty rough shape, the stalls themselves. So I have decided what I'm going to do. I have made some tamarack 4x12s and various widths actually but they're four inches wide and these are going to be my petitions in my stalls. I'm kind of excited about that. Of course they'll just stack right up about four foot high and then go up to the front. So um, I made a few of them the other day. I've got more to make. I don't know when I'll actually get to making the fix in the stalls with everything else that's going on this time of year. Every time of year is so busy, but I do have to take some time to do that, but it may be who knows, it may be spring before I actually get to it, but at least I'm getting the, the walls made and we'll see how that progresses. But now let me show you back to the little shoeing that I did and uh, talk about that for a minute. Okay, I told you in a couple of videos ago, a way to tighten up a shoe to hold it until you get to the farrier and that's what I did and normally that works great by usually pulling a couple of nails out and putting some fresh nails in. Well, I think I told you it'd probably be good for two weeks. Two days later, I lost this one shoe off lady. We had some really hard pulls so I don't really feel that bad about it because she was really digging in and pulling hard and she lost the shoe. So anyways, we'll slap another one on and go from there. This is Monday morning. And I actually do have an appointment for Thursday up at Eli's to get these shoes done. So once again, I'm not going to be too fussy. I'm just going to put the shoe on and he can do a better job when we get up there on Thursday. Whoops, I just hear a nail right there. The shoe I'm going to use. I'm going to take the old nails out first. So this is just an old shoe. The nail holes are way too big. I really had wished that nail had stayed on. Uh, the shoe had stayed on because the chances of him needing to go in the same nail holes are, are fairly high. But I'm going to Take a little bit of this toe off. I do not like long toes on a horse. I like them short. There. That shoe is laying quite flat. I like that.
Yeah, help, I can hear it for now. Okay, I'm only putting three nails on each side. Is it a little risky? Yeah, but like I said, it's just a couple days, so we should be all right. shoes back on good for a couple days there's times to do a really really good job and there's times to just do a quick patch up and this is just one of those quick patch up jobs One other thing I want to show you is my ceiling and what I'm planning on doing with this. I have plastic on the ceiling and it's been up there for quite a while, but I want to take that down and insulate the ceiling. And then I have over here, I saw a lot of basswood last winter so I sawed I think this um, four or five packs of basswood here that's been drying most of the summer it's been covered up it's still outside but it's been covered up so it should be pretty good um, I do have a dry kiln I could put it through the kiln if I had to but my this is kind of the poor basswood um, I the really good basswood I've pulled out of there and have that in another spot inside but this basswood here, I'm planning on running it through my planer mill, which is here. I have a planer mill right here. That It's a four-sided planer, but it does turn groove and shiplap and a bunch of things. So this is what the shiplap is. This is just a piece of, of pine. But uh, this is what I'm going to put that stuff into probably different widths because I'm not um, it's just gonna be a solid ceiling but I'm gonna put that up on the ceiling in the horse barn so I'm looking forward to that another one of those jobs that I'm not sure when it's gonna happen but um, I'm looking forward to getting that done sometime I wish I didn't have to back my loaded spreader out every time, but the way I'm set up, that's just the way it is. And it takes a lot of power to back this 
loaded spreader up like this. I also have a wagon off to our left that I'm putting a new bed on, so that's kind of right in my way. So I have to back up even farther. I guess I should have moved the wagon, but I didn't. I have to be careful with this spreader. If I turn too sharp, I can jackknife it really easy and flip the cart over. So I have to be cautious of that. So Jim's just coming back from getting the horses up at Eli's. They have new shoes. Hey. Come here, I'll show you the shoes. They're raring to go. Ooh, looking good. Over here. He's not into it. Please say hello. They're both hungry, probably. He's watching his dad. I think we clean this for now. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey. High heels on. Do it over here. 